In this video we'll need to use PEMDAS and then subtract integers and here's uh, examples the first examples I'll do this one you try this one and second examples I'll do the first one and have you guys try this one so uh, remember integers what does integers mean integers means positive and negative numbers that aren't you know fraction don't have a, a fraction or or uh, the the basically positive or negative whole numbers so you got 0 1 2 3 and so on you've also got negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 and so on so instead of saying you know negatives or negative numbers we can say integers because we're also talking about positive numbers so we're talking about positive and negative uh, whole numbers right basically anyway so let's do the first example here we've got 2 times 5 minus 4 times 7 what should we do first two times five minus four times seven should we subtract or multiply again if we just quickly write down PEMDAS tells us that we need to multiply whoops multiply before we subtract agreed remember multiply and divide go together add and subtract go together right so we've got to multiply, then subtract. So let's do that. 2 times 5, 10. We've also got another multiplication. What's 4 times 7? It's 28. You could also look at that as negative 4 times positive 7, which actually gives negative 28. But in any case, um, 4 times 7 is 28, and then we put down a subtraction. Now we have 10 minus 28. If you have ten dollars and you spend twenty eight dollars, how much money have you now? You'd be in debt by eighteen, right? Or you could change subtraction to plus negative. Ten good guys, twenty eight bad guys, eighteen bad guys, negative eighteen, right? Okay. Six times three minus eight times nine. Press pause, write it down and do this. 6 times 3 minus 8 times 9. Press pause, try it yourself. Okay, I'll do it now. So 6 times 3, we've got to multiply and then subtract. So 6 times 3, 18. 8 times 9, 72. Then we subtract. 18 minus 72. Subtraction can change to plus negative. 18 good guys, 72 bad guys. So we actually do need the difference between those two numbers. 72 minus 18, uh, 6 carry the 1, 12 minus 8 is 4, 6 minus 1 is 5. So the difference between them is 54. There are 18 positives and 72 negatives, so negative 54 is the answer, right? Second examples, we have Um, dip, 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 dip. we have this 2 times 3 squared minus 3 times 2 cubed 2 to the power of 3 minus 5 squared times 3 so please write this down carefully and then we'll do it together ok so what should we do first here what do you think what should be the first operation subtract multiply or exponent which one comes first Got to look at your order of operations. Exponents come first, right? Exponents come first. Uh, b before, well, parentheses come first, but exponents, and then multiply, then subtract. So we do parentheses first, then exponents, then we do multiply or divide, then we do add or subtract from left to right. Okay? Left to right. Anyway point is, that's the order of operations, point is we do the exponents first. We have 3 squared. This squared is just touching the 3, so we just need to square the 3. What's 3 squared? It's 3 times 3, which is 9. Let's go along and do all the exponents. Here's 2 to the power of 3. What's that? 
2 cubed is in fact 2 times 2 times 2. That's 2 times itself 3 times. That's 2 cubed. 2 times 2 is 4. And 4 times 2 is 8, right? Then we've got a 5 squared. Look at that, 5 squared. What does he make? 5 squared is 5 times 5. What's 5 times 5? 25. Okay. So we do all the exponents first. Then we fill out the rest of the problem. So you're taking it line by line. We've done all the exponents first. Tick the box. Great. The exponents are done. Then we just write out all the problem again and we go on to the next step. So times 2, there's a minus sign here. Is a 3 times the minus sign, then there's a times 3. Okay? So now we have subtractions and multiplications. Which should we do first, the multiplying or the subtracting? Look at order of operations. We need to multiply and then we can subtract, right? So do all the multiplications. So we just come along here. We've got 2 times 9, 18. We've got 3 times 8, 24. We've got 25 times 3, 70. Five. And then we just write out everything else. So we just have the subtractions to write out now. Okay. 18 minus 24 minus 75. Okay. Um, so we can do this. Instead of subtract, we can go plus negative, plus negative. Okay. 18 positives, 24 negatives, 75 negatives. Okay. I'm going to actually combine these guys together because I think that'll be, be a little easier and I'll do that guy next. So 18 positives and 24 negatives. That's a negative 24. Okay. 18 good guys, 24 bad guys. That is how many bad guys? Six bad guys, right? Plus uh, a negative 75. Plus 75 bad guys, right? So 76 bad guys and 75 bad guys, what does that give us? Eighty-one bad guys, right? Negative eighty-one. Okay, so we went along, we did all the exponents. Okay, they were in red. 9, 8, and 25. Then we did all the multiplications. 18, 24, 75. And then we subtracted at the end. And we got our answer. I'm sure, you can do that. Press pause and try this one. Write this one out and try it yourself. 4 times 2 cubed minus 3 squared times 4 minus 2 times 5 squared. So press pause and try that yourself. And of course, you're going to do exponents first, right? Exponents first. Okay, I hope you've pressed pause and tried it. I'll go through it now. So the first line is you should have done the exponents first. Now 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 3 squared is 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9. Not 6. A lot of people think that's 6. I don't know why. Anyway, 5 squared is 5 times 5. 25. Anyway, 4 times 8 minus 9 times 4 minus 2 times 25. 4 times 8, minus 9 times So now we have subtractions and multiplications. What should we do now? Once again, by the order of operations, we need to multiply at this point. All the multiplications. 4 times 8, 32. 9 times 4, 36. 2 times 25, 50. Now subtract. We have three subtractions. I'm going to do this, plus negative, plus negative. Just makes it a little easier. I'm going to combine these two guys together. Forget about him. 32 good guys and 36 bad guys makes 4 bad guys, 4 negatives. Uh, and then we've got another 50 bad guys. 
four bad guys and fifty bad guys makes four negatives and fifty negatives makes fifty four negatives. Negative fifty four.